flagship smartphones are great. They take great pictures, perform brilliantly and offer great build quality. But they cost a lot. Hell it's sometimes even more than an engineer's salary. But what if I say you can get 80% of that at just 40% of the price? Well let's find out. But before we do, my name is Jonathan, this is Tech Teachers and these are the top 5 budget smartphones under 250 US dollars 2016. Let's get started. The first spot on our list is torn by none other than the Moto G4 Plus. And yes, I know it has a tendency to overheat while gaming or when using cameras, but still, when it allows you to click, it takes fabulous pictures. And it is by far the only smartphone in this list which has cameras which rival flagships. Oh yeah, coming on to the specs, the G4 Plus has a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display with 401 PPI and this is by far the best display in Motorola's G series of smartphone. But yes, sunlight readability is something to be desired. The G4 Plus runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 octa-core SoC with 2 or 3 gigs of RAM and 16 or 32 gigs of variance respectively. And this is the only factor where I was let down, not in terms of performance but in terms of overheating. Apart from that, this smartphone has a 16 megapixel rear camera with f2.0 aperture, laser assist for autofocus and a 1080p video recording capabilities and a 5 megapixel rear camera with the same aperture and they are great. And cameras are the only reason why G4 Plus is on this list. Coming on to the battery life, the G4 Plus has a 3000 mAh battery and does support Motorola's turbocharging technology. It runs on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow with a guaranteed update to Android 7.0 Nugget. Additional features include a fingerprint scanner embedded in the home button and some sort of splash proof against dust. And the G4 Plus is priced at 13499 and 14999 INR respectively. And this is the costest phone on this list. The fourth part in our list goes to a smartphone which released after 7 months in India for a good reason. Yes, I'm talking about Lenovo ZUK Z1. And this smartphone is one of the best in terms of all round package. Starting off, the Z1 runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 chip. And yes, a 2 year old 32 bit flagship chip. But the phone is fast, so it doesn't matter to me and it will not to you either. The Z1 has 3GB of RAM and 64GB of non expandable storage with a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display that's 401 pixels per inch for those who count. And it has a 13 megapixel rear camera with dual LED flash, 1080p recording, and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. They are good. The Z1 has a fingerprint scanner embedded in the home button and is fast and accurate. And it runs on Android Fire One Lollipop with Cyanogen Mod 12.1 on top. And a guaranteed upgrade to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. But the highlight of the smartphone lies in that the smartphone has a 4100mAh non replaceable battery. And the battery life is simply amazing. To check out the full in depth review of the device, check out the link in the description. And yes, the smartphone is priced at 13499 INR. Moving on to the smartphone that inherits third spot in our list despite it being the cheapest of the bunch. Yes, I'm talking about Meizu M3 Note and it is a great smartphone and it punches well above its height. Starting off, the M3 Note has a 5.5 inch 1080p IPS display with 401 PPI, 2.5D curved arc glass sits on top and it's great. Moving on, the M3 Note has a MediaTek Helio P10 Octa-Core SoC and this is something which I was let down by a bit. No, don't get me wrong, it is a good performer and you will have no issues in day to day tasks but where it struggles is in high intensive gaming. But the phone will run most of the games without any problem but just keep your expectations in a limit. Moving on, the M3 Note also has a fingerprint scanner in the home button and that's too fast and accurate. It has a 30 megapixel rear camera dual LED flash with PDAF and 1080p video recording and a front camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and just as I said earlier keep your expectations in a limit as they are nothing to run home about either. Pictures are ok but the videos are not that impressive. The M3 Note runs on Android Fire Note 1 Lollipop with Meizu's so called Flyme 5.1 on top and uh, I know it's a great departure from stock Android but functions great and the build quality is just amazing. It screams premium no matter where you touch. And speaking about amazing let's talk battery. The M3 Note has 4100mAh non replaceable battery and it's great. You don't need to hunt for the charger in the day if charged fully. And for just 9999 INR or 150 US dollars, it is literally a steal and look no further if you are tight on your wallet. And the second spot in our list goes to a smartphone which offers performance which rivals that of a flagship. Yes, I'm talking about Le Eco Le 2. 
Taking that controversial name aside, the led to runs on a 64-bit Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 Octa-Core SoC with 3GB of RAM and 32 gigs of non-expandable storage. And this is a combo that we see in a smartphone such as a $550 Sony Xperia X. Moving on the numbers aside, this is a fast phone. You will never find a lag in day-to-day -day operations and it can handle most of the intensive tasks with ease. And th that's something that we don't normally say for a smartphone of this price. Moving on, the LED2 has a fingerprint scanner at the back below the camera module and it's fast, rivaling that of a Huawei flagship and it has a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display with 401 PPI and yeah, there are some issues that many other YouTubers are addressing about the screen cracking when pushing harder but when questioned to the company, it replies that it is not a quality control issue but rather a unique technology and will help the smartphone from a shattered screen as you can see on the screen but still we doubt so and even the lack of headphone jack is something that we feel is a bummer rather than a feature at least for now and the LED 2 has a 16 megapixel rear camera with dual LED flash f auto aperture and 4k recording and a 5 megapixel front facing shooter with the same aperture and they are above average moving on to the smartphone has a 3000 mAh battery and it's above average too but the build quality is simply amazing it's all metal unibody construction is just next level and finally the LED 2 runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Lycos EUI on top and it's far from stock Android but it is a polished UI which performs great and the only reason that this smartphone is not in our first spot is due to screen issues above average cameras and mediocre battery life with non-expandable storage. Apart from that, it's an exceptional phone for just 11999 or 200 US dollars. And moving on, the first part in our list goes to a smartphone that has changed the way we think about budget smartphones and which is my all-time favorite and is the only smartphone that fills almost all boxes correctly. Yes, it is none other than the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. Starting off, the Redmi Note 3 has a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS display with 401 PPI and it is great. Sunlight visibility is quite good too. Moving on, the Redmi Note 3 has a fingerprint scanner at the back below the camera module which is the same as the Le Eco Le 2 and it is quite fast and industry class. The smartphone runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 650 hexa-core SoC with other 2 or 3 gigs of RAM and 16 or 32 gigs of inbuilt storage variants respectively with a room for expansion. Moving on, the smartphone comes with a 16 megapixel rear camera with dual LED flash f auto aperture and PDAF, a 5 megapixel front facing shooter with f auto aperture, 1080p recording as a standard. If talking about the cameras of this smartphone, they are not the highlight of the smartphone, but they are not bad literally. And coming on to what is highlight of this smartphone is that it comes with a 4050mAh battery and it is simply amazing and will last you long and you don't need to hunt for the charger in the day no matter what you do with your smartphone and it will change the way your charging habits are trust me battery life is simply amazing Redmi Note 3 is built out of metal apart from the top and bottom plastic parts for good antenna reception but still it's quite sturdy over for overall for just 9999 and 11 triple nine respectively you're getting a lot than what you can expect for the price and his ultimate smartphone under 15k sure it might not have the best camera like motorola moto g4 plus nor it has the best performance like le 2 but still all other phones excel in one key area and fail in others but this smartphone is alone fills all boxes correctly sure it is not the best in some aspects but it is an all-round performer and so inherits the first spot in our list of top five budget smartphones under 250 us dollars of 2016 and that pretty much winds up the video hopefully enjoy the content if you did then feel like the one who's standing in front of the camera jonathan feeling make sure to crack that like button and if you thought this video sucked don't forget to give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comments down below what you didn't like so that I can keep up and come with a good one for the next time. But if you thought this video was good and you really appreciate it, go ahead and get subscribe. Until then, this has been your Jonathan from Tech Teachers, reminding you to check out my last previous top 5 budget smartphones video. Until then, thanks for watching.